Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And Brother John here, Light of Truth. It is uh, day 7 of uh, 40 for heirs of the Roman Catholic Church. This is heir number 7. And it's the Mass in Latin. That happened in 600 AD. The Latin language is the language of prayer and worship in the churches. It was also imposed by Pope Gregory I, 600 years after Christ. What does the Word of God have to say about that? If not, everybody knows how to speak in Latin. Now, I understand in the United States, not a, they don't do any, everything in Latin and so forth, and all that distraction there. That was my baby. She's uh, running around with a little walker, so she's uh, learning how to walk and so forth. Praise God. But uh, uh, I know that in the churches here in America, I don't know how many Latin Masses there are. I'm sure, I think I've seen some signs where Masses in Latin and so forth. But what do the Bible say about other tongues that people can't understand. So let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter number 14. 1 Corinthians 14, we'll look at verse number 4. The Bible says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue, which which would lat be Latin, I, I don't know Latin. If I were to walk into a Catholic church and they're speaking Latin, ah, that's an unknown tongue to me. I don't know what they're saying. Then, I mean, so, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. The priest is just edify that knows Latin is edifying himself. But he that prophesieth Edifieth the church. So what does prophesieth mean? Well, you can. it means in the 1828 dictionary, prophesying, and the noun, the act of foretelling, that's the Bible, it foretells, or of preaching. Peter says we have a more sure word of prophecy. That is the King James Bible. Thus saith the Lord. And so the Bible says that uh, he that speaketh an unknown tongue edifieth himself, but he that prophesieth edifieth the church. Verse 5, I would that ye all spake with tongues, but rather that ye prophesied. So prophesying is more important than speaking in tongues. For greater is he that prophesieth than he that speaketh with tongues. Uh, except he interpret that the church may receive edification. Edifying. Verse 9, uh, well, let's go verse 6. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you except I shall speak to you either by revelation or knowledge or by prophesying or doctrine? Um, verse 9. So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood, how shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak into the air. And then over, oh, let's see here. Verse 13, uh, Wherefore let him that speaketh an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit. Uh, let's see here. Let's go down to verse. So, oh, let's see here. If any verse twenty seven, if any man speak in an unknown tongue, Latin, let it be by two or at most at the most by three that by course and let one interpret. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silence in the church and let him speak himself and to God. That means the Catholic priest that speak in Latin and there's no interpreter, he needs to shut his mouth. He needs to shut up. He ain't to speak. You need to edify the church. You ain't edify nothing. Fee, fi, fo, fum, hula, 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 whatever. You know. Uh, there in the Mass, they say um, hocus pocus. That's Latin, the hoc, whatever. And it comes out to hocus pocus. They literally just say hocus pocus in the Mass. And boom, it changes the body of Christ. That's messed up doctrine, friends, folks. That's just messed up. But I got a note here on Dr. Ruckman's reference Bible. And he says, anyone teaching or preaching the A.V. Holy Bible in English, that's the King James Bible, with words the congregation can understand will dispense more grace, knowledge, and spiritual understanding in one 15-minute message than any charismatic blabbermouth could speak in an unknown tongue in an hour. He uses charismatics there, but I'm using the Catholics here in their Latin Mass. You don't have an interpreter. Your priest needs to shut up. It is not edifying. If nobody can understand what they're saying... What are you there? Like it says in verse 9, you're just speaking into the air. It, it's unfruitful. It is unedifying. And that's King James Bible. Catholicism doesn't follow it. If you're trusting in your Catholic church to save you, you're going to hell. There's no purgatory. 
You wake up, you lift up your eyes in the fire, you're in hell and you're there forever. Except when you get up at the white throne judgment, then you're going to get cast in the lake of fire after you're judged. But can't tell you I didn't warn you. I love you enough to tell you the truth. See you next, see you tomorrow.